Hello everybody, my name is Asian Psycho. <laughs> that kinda like sound like Baxter. Anyways, um so I've gotten a request from uh, a gentleman named uh Arnox, I don't really know your name, but it started with an A. And um, he, he recently left a comment earlier this morning saying that, uh, asking me how I could, uh, or how you could customize your sniper rifle to uh, it can deal, um, 200 damage. <laughs> Look at the Jack's box, chat box. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Um, however, do keep in mind that, um, in order to rank up, or not rank up, but in order to customize your sniper rifle to deal 200 damage, you will need to be a very, very high rank. Um, I am level 25 right now. I believe you need to be at least level 20 because some of the customizations are really high ranked. But anyways, in any case, we'll we'll see um, how we can do that right now. So um, I do have a little bit of GP stocked up. I don't mind just wasting it because uh, I don't plan on playing uh, too much of B uh, Black Light Retribution today. But um, I'll I'll see what I can do. But anyways, um, I'll just basically buy out the um, the fully customized sniper rifle for you guys right now. So what you want to do is um, go to either loadout of yours and um, click on, first of all, you have to click on receiver. Um, Pre-made is everything like you can see here, so it's not really, you know, too good. Well, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, oh, you can actually buy the uh, the pre-mates for one day. Interesting, I never knew that. That SMG doesn't even look like an SMG at all. <laughs> but anyways, that we're getting sidetracked. So, receiver. Obviously, you want to purchase the bolt action one and make sure um, I only buy things for one day because um, I never have the time to gain the GP in order to buy things for permanent but um, anyways um, you can buy things for permanent I believe it's very definitely well worth it because I mean GP is just I mean think about it, you're buying permanent stuff for basically free um, in game you're only using in game money so that in itself is pretty good anyways so f as for the receiver uh, obviously you can see I have the sniper rifle bought now and for the muzzle, you want basically what you want to do is just basically you want to go through each of your uh, um, possible attachments here and see what deals the most damage. Obviously, as you can tell here, um, the only, the highest that you can inc bump up your damage um, for your sniper rifle is 186. Um, what? Let's see. The first one that you can use is called the um, the Crane SPR1 muzzle uh, muzzle brake, um, and it looks like it's a fl flash brake as well. So it's unlocked at level 17. Of the Crane SPR1, and that'll bump up your damage to a 186. Don't mind anything else like this hip spread, the uh, the recoil, the uh, the range, because you're not going to be using like your sniper rifle. I mean, you might be no scoping with the thing, sure, but um, for the most part, you're going to be aiming down your sights. So nothing, none of this really, really matters. However, the range might matter, but I mean, it's a sniper rifle anyway, so you're going to be hitting people for a long distance away anyway. So damage is all that matters for a sniper rifle, which is which is nice. Uh, anyway, so you're gonna have to use the uh, Crane SPR one, which deals a uh, a one, which bumps up your sniper rifle's base damage 186. Now, do you keep in mind that the Vulcan R19 Rift, which is unlocked at level 28, also deals the same thing, except it has a lot less um, drawbacks to it. It doesn't have any. It doesn't change your hitfire spread at all. It doesn't change your range. Only thing it changes is your recoil, and obviously your recoil because all sniper, your bolt action sniper rifle in this game is a bolt action <laughs> redundancy. I know, but um, because it, because it's a bolt action recoil will not matter at all. So obviously, if you're level 20 or above, the Vulcan Knight R19 Rift is what you want to go for. Uh, if you want to, you know, bump up your damage, but obviously we're, in, we're we don't have access to that unless you have Zen. So um, let's go ahead and buy the uh, the Crane SPR1 muzzle brake. So now we can see the our sniper rifle stats right now. Um, on moving on to the barrel. So once again, you want to search for another uh, like a barrel that increases your damage even further. So uh, um, so far we've seen a total of 200. So right right off the bat, you can see that this this barrel right here deals. Um, just straight up 200 damage so obviously you're pretty much good to go uh, when, when it comes to this so your muzzle and your barrel basically you want to get the crane spr1 i think that's what it's called and the crane gx3 heavy which is unlocked at level 22 so if you are not unlocked if you are not level 22 or above you cannot have a snapper rifle that deals straight up 200 damage unless of course you have sen by which case you can just ignore everything i say uh, on top of this, though, uh, these these customizations or these attachments, rather, I shouldn't really say attachments. I should say customizations. These customizations um, do a number on your run speed, your uh, your range, and your hit fire spread. But then again, if you think about it, it's not really too bad because I mean it's a sniper rifle, so all these things you can really really ignore. Um, all you want is the damage, and the damage is really what you're trying to go for. 
So let's go ahead and treat ourselves to this uh, Crane GX3 Heavy Barrel. And as you can see, we now deal 200 straight up damage. So now everything else from here on out is um, is really up to your personal uh, personal choice. Like magazine, I don't mind rocking a standard magazine. Um, looks like you can buy another modified magazine here so that you can uh, increase the rate at which you uh, run because, I mean, sniper rifles are pretty heavy. Um, here it looks like you have a faster reload. Actually, I usually buy this, the Vulcan STD, <laughs> yeah, STD, the Vulcan STD 03 QBA, which is unlocked at a pretty low rank of uh, level 13, so it's pretty, it's, it's available to you guys um, pretty quickly um, if you guys, you know, play a lot of BLR. And um, the reload speed, as you can see, is shaved off by, ooh, phone, is um, shaved off by full second so obviously this is a very very good uh, very good attachment um, to your to your sniper rifle this is the explosive um, ammo um, I do not recommend this at all because as you can see by the um, that uh, the description it says it deals 80% base damage and uh, jars the target's vision and um, it prevents them from being revived if they are killed but however this only deals 80% damage it's not like the incendiary ammo or the uh, electric ammo I think or well, definitely it's not like the incendiary ammo where it deals damage over time it's just 80% damage and that's it plus a few other effects honestly speaking I'd rather keep my 200 uh, 200 base 200 damage so this is ammo although it's it's pretty unique in its um, effects I wouldn't rock it in my opinion the Foish, uh, I think that's how you say it, the Foish Elect 1 BA ex uh, electric ammo, so as you can see it deals 90% um, base damage, so it's technically better than the um, than the explosive ammo, and also it deals 20% more base damage to hard suits, turrets, basically anything um, basically anything that are, uh, are that depend on electronics and, and apparently it also affects players stun uh, affected by stun um, EMP and uh, digital effects so if so I suppose if you want to use the EMP ammo this will work very well in conjunction with um, you know the uh, electric ammo or not the electric ammo the um, what is it called? The digital grenades, um, the stun grenades, and the EMP grenades. I'll show you. I'll probably show you guys in the equipment tab after this. But um, and also, it uh, apparently it. Uh, what the hell? Well, sorry about that. Um. I had a, yeah, I had a, yeah. So for some reason, my computer just, um, I wouldn't say crashed, but it did take me a desktop for some reason. I didn't even hit the, uh, the window key. But anyways, hopefully the uh, audio is still running fine. If not, then, um, I can always do this again. But anyways, um, uh, so leave, moving on to where we left off. So electric ammo, like I was saying, is pretty good in conjunction with the stun grenade, the EMP grenade, and the digital effects. Because if, if you throw them first and you manage to hit people, uh, you manage to tag people with those kinds of grenades, then pretty much you're doing 220 damage instead of 200. 10 so um as you can see or actually 90 you'd be doing like 100 you'd basically be doing a I don't know, but anyways, it seems like you'll be doing a total of 110% damage, just like the electric ammo, but, I mean, not electric ammo, this is, we are talking about the electric ammo, uh, just like the incendiary ammo, but obviously, um, the incendiary ammo is, it works on pretty much anyone, whereas the, uh, the electric ammo only works on people who are affected by those kinds of grenades, and also it seems like it has the additional benefit of slowing rotation speed of hard suits for, uh, for a quarter of a second, and it doesn't stack, apparently, so, there you go. Would I recommend the electric ammo? Not really. It looks like we have the Vulcan SED S4 or O4 XLBA. It looks like it's an extended magazine, so it may come in handy. And also, it increases your standard, your your ammo capacity. So basically, it almost doubles your uh, total ammo from 5 over 20 to 8 over 32. So that's pretty nice. Also, but it does significantly hamper your uh, your run speed on top of that. So it, it's a give and take there. Um, I can see, I can definitely see why people might use this. Because, I mean, you're a sniper, right? You're a sniper. So it's not like you have any real reason to run around the map all the time. So, unless you're like me. So, I suppose that uh, that uh, penalty and run speed, it really won't matter too much. Obviously, we have these other um, bullet, uh, bullet types that uh, I cannot access, so we'll just skip those. We on the scopes. I think someone's talking to me over Gmail. Um, basically, you have this. You're treated to the same scopes that you can put on any other attach, uh, any other uh, weapon. However, um, in my uh, what is it? In my, I believe in my 
my video that uh, that featured the uh, the sniper rifle that I use the sniper rifle, I use this scope, the Frontier X Lite 257. Um, it gives me an enhanced scope, and it has that kind of weird Treyarch kind of symbol that in the as this reticle. Um, what I think about the uh, short range optics, like the Light Sky LA, uh, L3 Aimpoint, and other other short range optics like these, I honestly think that you should re re reserve the uh, the short range um, optics to assault rifles and uh, and uh, some machine guns, to be honest. But um, I mean, if you want to go quick scoping and uh, like you know short range sniping, then I suppose these are good. Um, you know basically really good alternatives to your iron sights because although the iron sights to my it might be in the pretty good but the the like the for example the an open sight like the L, light sky l3 is a lot better because you have a lot more view on your target you know so um i mean this uh, crane fp g38 um modulated is is a natural sniper rifle uh, scope so it, it's pretty good um you, as you can see it's got a pretty good zoom and it's more it's more catered towards uh, the more campy sniper rifle snipers out there um the emi rival 2 is a pretty good um a um middle range optic just like the um what was it called the frontier xl light sky and it looks like, uh, unlike the Light Sky at the Frontier, uh, the uh, EMI Rival has no penalty in scope in time. So I suppose it's like a instant scope in, I don't know really how, what it looks like because I never really used it before. But I think I might have used it once, but anyways. I use this scope, the Eon F1 Sight, on the one my assault, ri on my assault rifle uh, a few episodes back. So, there you go. Um, the Crane, Car, I think that's how you say it, XSI. Um... Nah, whatever. I think this is. I think this is a pretty much a middle range scope as well. You see, the uh, zoom is uh, level three, and obviously this is a uh, short range optic. This is a pretty unique optic. I like the design of it, like a holographic, like literally a holographic sight. <laughs> Don't see those every day. So this is basically like a. <laughs> for those guys who play Mario Four Three, this is basically like a. In terms of the design, anyway, it's basically like the uh, the hybrid sight. I've yet to try that. Oh, I don't want to buy it. Actually, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I might as well buy it. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. And uh, every, um, all these scopes that you can see here. So yeah. Looks like this is a pretty good... Uh, so this is like the deepest zoom sniper scope. See, look at that. Six, it just doubles our normal, st our standard zoom. Holy shit. So, magazine. I might as well... Um, Let's see, what was the extended magazine? So I'm gonna buy the extended magazine here. Might as well. Won't hurt. And as for stock, as you can see, I have this uh, stock bought already. Um, in my opinion, this this stock is pretty much the best for low rankers uh, because, as, as you can see, it it doesn't really affect m uh, other uh, statistics negatively. Uh, but however, pr it really really helps out with like range, uh, spread hip, and a recoil and it looks like a really smooth, uh, smooth-looking, um, you know, stock overall. It basically does the same thing, but the, the but the benefits and penalties are worse, uh, are more extreme, I should say. Uh, this one is uh, <laughs> more more for those uh, running gunners type of thing, and uh, this is uh, looks like it basically reduces, uh, basically increases recoil um, in exchange for uh, significantly reducing hip. Hip fire spread, range, uh, increasing range, and uh, looks like this is actually pretty good. It's a pretty good candidate. So, uh, no, I don't want to purchase that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's let's take a look at the other two uh, stocks here. So it looks like it looks like, in my honest opinion, that the uh, uh, no, I don't want that. The V2 folding CQBB stock is the most advantageous because all you're doing is uh, adjusting the re uh, reversing the recoil by a lot. But even then, you have to realize it's a bolt action sniper rifle, so it's not like you're gonna you're not gonna it's not like you're gonna be affected by recoil by much. So, in any case, so we'll go ahead and purchase this. There we go. So on th so now basically we have our fully uh, fully customized uh, f um, sniper rifle basically, and um, yeah. As you can see, you can have a clear view on our uh, sniper rifle, as you can see there. And yeah, that's about it for the sniper rifle thing. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this, guys. I don't know how long this has been. But uh, in any case, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully you now know how to get your uh, fully customized uh, 200 damage sniper rifle. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys later. You go to shoot that, then.